Hi everyone. In this video, I'm trying to troubleshoot this particular problem. I just turned on my lab environment and I'm trying to log into my Citrix storefront server. And after typing the credentials, let me type the credentials. Okay, it says cannot complete your request. So this is the most common issue you might come across in the Citrix environment cannot complete a request so let me just try to log in as a different user let me see okay so this is a different user it's always good to check whether it is a single user issue or multiple users issue okay it's we still get the same error message cannot complete a request okay if you want you can just close the browser and you, you can reopen and you can try all these things just to make sure Okay. Okay, so all users are facing the same issue, cannot complete a request. So this seems like a server related issue. So the very first thing that you can check is you can check the services on the storefront server. Okay, so you can check the services. So what you can do is you can go to search windows search okay and you need to do it on storefront server go to services okay now you can look for the citrix related services okay citrix related services so let me scroll down okay so these are the citrix related services citrix configuration replication citrix credential wallet Citrix default domain, Citrix subscription service, Citrix telemetry service. So these are all the Citrix related services. So I see that Citrix credential wallet service is in stop state. It says provides a secure store of credentials. Okay. So what you need to do is you can start this service. You can start the service. And let me also start Citrix subscription store. Citrix subscription store, it, it provides a store and replication of user subscriptions. Okay, so let me start it. So in the production environments, you will have two storefront servers. Okay, so so usually in the test environments, you can have single storefront, but in the production environments, you have two storefront servers. So you have to make sure that these services are up and running in both the storefront servers. Okay, so uh, we have started the service everything looks good at this point so let me go back to the console i mean uh, the web page let me try to log in and see how it goes okay so let me type my domain first let me type the password Okay, I logged in successfully. Now, uh, you can test it. You can try to launch one of the machines and see how it goes. Okay, seems like uh, we could log in successfully this time and it's always good to launch the application. Whenever you log in, it's always good to launch the application to see whether it is working fine or not. Okay, seems like we logged in successfully without any issues. So we launched the VDI machine as well. So I'm going to just, uh, disconnect this machine i'm going to disconnect okay let me try to launch a different machine and see how it goes just to cross check if everything is working fine or not okay seems like this is also launching fine without any issues so this cannot Complete a request is an issue which you will come across in the Citrix environment. Sometimes this could be an issue from the end user side as well. Maybe if you know the browser can could cause some kind of issues. But if it is happening to multiple users, then it's always good to uh, check the services on the Citrix storefront server and try to start the service and try to solve it as soon as possible. Okay. So I really hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye bye.